Have you ever thought about exactly how devices are equipped in our office when we build up an IP-based telephony system? Well, in this video, we'll walk you through the deployment of IPPBX, IP phones, and SIP chunks in the local network environment of the office. First thing first, what's a local network environment in the office? In simple words, the local network environment, professionally called LAN for local area network, it's consisted of a router and devices connected to it, such as your computer, smartphone, or any type of IP-based equipment. Usually, switches will be deployed to connect more devices to the router. If we connect broadband to the router, all the devices will be able to access the internet. A router is more like the main port that controls the traffic to the outside world. Anyway, now let's turn to our internal system. In this video, we will make use of the following devices. A switch connected to the local router, a Yaystar P-Series PBX, an IP phone, and a laptop for configuring all these devices. We need to finish two major tasks on each device. The first one is to set the network interface of the device. Make sure they're under the same IP segment and following the local network rules. So they will be accessible from each other when we're down. In this video, we will take the info as an example. Then, connect all mentioned devices physically into the switch. Let's start with the IPPBX and the laptop. Finish the hardware installation and turn on the power of the PBX. If you want to learn more about the hardware installation, please check the linked video. Now we're going to configure the IPPBX network interface. We do support configuring a default device through mobile phone. You can check this video. But in this one, we'll take a more traditional method to configure it with the laptop. So first, connect the LAN port of the PBX to the computer's network interface with an Ethernet cable. The default IP address of the PBX is 192.168.5.150. We're supposed to set the laptop IP address to the same network segment. Now open the browser, enter the default IP address of the PBX. You will get a warning notification. Never mind. It's totally safe for private access. Go through the initial setting wizard and change the PBX IP address using the rules mentioned just now. Fill in the IP address one by one correctly. Save and apply it. Reboot the PBX to make the configuration work. Just wait for a while. Meanwhile, don't forget to change the laptop's IP address to the same network segment. Now, enter the new IP address of the PBX in the browser we can access it again. Our configuration works. Now we're okay with the task one on the PBX and laptop. Let's go straight to the task two. Connect the LAN port of the PBX to the switch and connect the laptop to the switch. As well, both devices have been connected to the same local network environment now. Let's see how to deploy the IP phone. We modified this IP phone's IP address already. If you want to learn how to change the IP address of the IP phone, please check the phone user menu. Now simply connect the IP phone and the switch with the port internet. Our PBX and the IP phone have been deployed successfully. It's time for SIPTRON configuration. Here's the Ethernet cable of the SIPTRON provided by the service provider. Well, generally speaking, there are two types of SIPTRON. One provides the voice service as well as the internet service while the other one provides the voice service only, also known as SIP dedicated trunk. The way we deploy these two types of SIP trunk is different. If the internet service also goes through the same ethernet cable, connect the cable to the router directly. Since we have connected the PBX to the switch, the PBX will obtain both the voice service and the internet service through this cable. At the same time, other devices connected to the router will be able to access the internet through the cable. Well, how about a SIP dedicated trunk? Now we're supposed to configure the PBX WAN port and connect the cable with voice service to it. Log into the PBX, go to System, Network, set the mode to Door. So the WAN port will be enabled. As we recommend it, set the LAN port as the default interface. Configure the WAN port using the information provided by the service provider. Here's an example of IP info. Save and apply the settings. Reboot the PBX. 
simultaneously connect the network cable to the WAN port of the PBX. Besides, we'll need some extra work to configure static routes, so both the LAN port and the WAN port will work in order. Log in again. Go to the network setting part. Find the static routes. All the rules for the LAN port will work because it's the default port. What we need is to create a rule for the WAN port. Click on Add, fill in the information according to the messages provided by the service provider. Then choose the WAN port. Save and apply the configurations. The new rule has been added to the routing table. Now both ports will work normally. That was all for the SIP dedicated trunk configuration. You've just learned how to deploy an IP PBX together with an IP file and a SIP trunk in the LAN. Next, we we'll suggest you watch our P Series PBX Quick Start Guide and Basic Configuration Video Tutorial learn how to establish a phone system for an enterprise. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details, check our document center, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank <music> you.